In this video, we will simplify some simple one variable expressions. In order to simplify expressions, first we should distribute in order to clear parentheses, and then we will gather and combine like terms. In this expression, I need to distribute 3 to the first set of parentheses. I need to distribute negative 5 to the second set of parentheses. That will clear away all the parentheses in the expression. And finally, I'll gather and combine like terms. First, I distribute 3. 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times negative 4 is minus 12. I now distribute the negative 5 to the second set of parentheses. Negative 5 times 7x squared is negative 35x squared. Negative 5 times negative 2x is positive 10x. Negative 5 times negative 3 is positive 15. And I have to also remember to bring down the last term, which is plus 4. Finally, I'll gather and combine like terms. The constant terms are the terms with no variables in them. We have negative 12, a positive 15, and a positive 4. When we add together negative 12 plus 15, we get positive 3, and then we add another 4 to make 7. The terms with 1x in them are 6x, and positive 10x. I have 6x's plus 10 more x's, making 16x's. And finally, I have another term with an x squared in it, a negative 35x squared. So the expression simplifies to 7 plus 16x minus 35x squared. Traditionally, we write expressions in descending degree order, so I would put the x squared term first, followed by the x term, followed by the constant term. Negative 35x squared plus 16x plus 7, and that is my final simplified expression. We'll now simplify the expression given here. Notice a very common error when simplifying expressions is found here. It says 4 subtract the expression 3x plus 2. It is not the 4 that is distributed to 3x plus 2. In fact, the number directly in front of the parentheses is negative 1. We can write this expression as 4 subtract 1 times 3x plus 2 plus 8 times this expression. It might be helpful to rewrite the expression this way first so that you clearly see that it's the negative 1 that needs to be distributed to the 3x plus 2. It is not the 4 that's distributed. I copy down the 4 and distribute the negative 1. So it's 4 minus 3x minus 2. And now here I distribute the positive 8 to the second set of parentheses. Positive 8 times negative 2 is negative 16. Positive 8 times negative 3 is negative 24. And positive 8 times negative 4 is minus 32. Finally, I gather and combine like terms. I will first write the x squared term, negative 32x squared. I then gather and combine the x terms. I have negative 3x's, subtract 24x's, makes negative 27x's. And finally, I gather and combine the constant terms. 4 subtract 2 
subtract 16. So 4 subtract 2 is 2. 2 subtract 16 is negative 14. So that is my final simplified expression. I'll now simplify this expression that involves a fraction. Now remember, fractions are just numbers. I know that some students get concerned when they see expressions involving fractions, but work it just like you work any other expression. I'll take the 2 thirds on the outside and distribute it to the parentheses. So 2 thirds times 9x minus 2 thirds times 15 plus 8. 2 thirds times 9. Remember, you can take the 3 into the 9 3 times. 2 times 3 is 6. So 2 thirds times 9 is 6. 2 thirds times 15. Again, the 3 goes into the 15 5 times. 2 times 5 is 10. And lastly, I gather and combine like terms. I have the x term, so 6x, and I have the constant terms, negative 10 plus 8 is negative 2. So my final simplified expression is 6x minus 2. Again, I have an expression I want to simplify that involves fractions. Again, I'm going to distribute that 3 fifths to the parentheses. 3 fifths times 4x plus 3 fifths times 10 subtract 1 half. 3 fifths times 4. This time I don't have any canceling with the denominator and the numerator, so I multiply straight across the top of the fraction to get 12 straight across the bottom of the fraction to get 5. So 3 fifths times 4 is 12 fifths. 3 fifths times 10. The denominator 5 cancels into the denominator 10, the numerator 10 to make 2. 3 times 2 is 6. And I still have the subtracting 1 half. Gathering and combining like terms, I have the x term, which is 12 fifths x, and I need to take 6, subtract 1 half. Remember, that is 6 over 1, subtract 1 over 2, getting a common denominator. The common denominator for 1 and 2 is 2. I need to write both fractions with a denominator of 2. The negative 1 half is still just negative 1 half. But to change 6 over 1 into a fraction with a denominator of 2, I needed to multiply the denominator by 2. So I need to do the same to the numerator. So I multiply 6 times 2 to get 12. So 6 over 1 is the same as 12 over 2. Now I'm taking 12 halves minus 1 halves makes 11 halves. So 6 subtract 1 half is 11 halves. My finalized simplified expression is 12 fifths x plus 11 halves.